We humans have always used our eyes to make sense of the world around us. We have looked to the stars to determine our location, through lenses and glasses for clarity, through cameras to capture our most precious moments. We have peered through telescopes to see our place in the sky and sent satellites to venture into our solar system and beyond. However, we realize that there are phenomena in our universe that our light just can't reach. What can we do? What is our solution to uncovering the secrets behind our unexplored universe? On the 14th of September 2015, we found our answer in the form of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time. They carry information about the cataclysmic events from which they came from, and to detect them requires high-tech equipment and incredible precision. However, to get an understanding of what they are, we need to look at Einstein's theory of general relativity that was published 100 years ago. Einstein argued that gravity was not in fact a force exerted by objects of masses on each other, which had been the basis of Newton's law of universal gravitation. Just earlier, his teacher, Hermann Minkowski, had put forward the idea of space-time, wherein space and time were fused together, creating a geometric value. According to Einstein, this geometry of space-time had the capability of being warped, which is what caused orbits. Say you have a ball travelling in a straight line through space-time, when it approaches a large mass. This mass, for example the sun, has warped the space around it. The ball will keep on travelling in what it perceives to be a straight line, that is, the straight line relative to it, even if that straight line involves travelling through the curvature. Therefore, the ball is now caught up in the sun's orbit. This is known as the geodesic, with the straightest possible line an object can travel through space relative to it. To simplify it, just imagine being in a lift. When you are in a lift, you assume you're going in the wanted direction. However, there is simply no way of telling. If you think you're going up, then you are. We can see now just how dynamic space-time is. If we can create a dent, I wonder what else we could do with it. Well, meet Bill. Bill's in his car that's currently accelerating around a roundabout. Whilst Bill is driving his car, he is distorting space-time and producing gravitational waves. Wait, what? All objects with mass, including the car, distort space-time. As the car's position changes, the position of the distortion also changes, creating an oscillating effect. Almost like a... Wave. Of course, Bill's car is producing undetectable waves because the mass is just so small, but the principle still stands. The bigger the mass, and the larger the acceleration, the larger the waves. They spread out at the speed of light and bend space-time as they travel. We've experienced this countless of times, but never realised it. Because everything is stretched out, it is impossible to notice. Relative to us, everything has remained the same. So how do we detect them? Well, a laser interferometer called LIGO, based in Livingston and Washington, did exactly this. An interferometer is a piece of equipment that uses light to create interference patterns, which contain information about their origins that can be analysed. A laser is split and travels along two tube vacuums that are perpendicular to each other, by reflecting it using a mirror. Each arm is 4 kilometres long, but cavities inside increase the distance the light has to travel to 1,120 kilometres, making it far more sensitive. At the end of their respective routes, they are reflected again back in the opposite direction and rejoin at the point of splitting. If they arrive at the same time, no light is produced because the waves cancel each other out. However, gravitational waves distort space-time as they travel through it, squeezing it in one direction and stretching it in the other. This means that one arm becomes slightly longer than the other, which causes the beam to arrive at a later time, producing light instead of being cancelled out. In fact, the sheer sensitivity of the interferometer means that its arm only has to be displaced by a thousandth the width of a proton for the disturbance to be detected. And this is what happened. Two black holes, 30 and 35 times the mass of the Sun, accelerated around each other before colliding, producing three solar masses worth of gravitational waves. And we detected it using just a thousandth the width of a proton. We were able to travel billions of light years into space by using just a tiny measurement. We were able to witness such a violent event that telescopes and satellites would have never reached. Gravitational waves are our eyes into deep space. They will push the boundaries for what we can and cannot see in our universe. All we now have to do is keep looking.